Every Yu-Gi-Oh format has its own meta. That meta influences the decks we play and will saturate the pool of decks in any given tournament. But given that Tengu Plant format is the most diverse format in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, I wanted to even the playing field and hold a tournament with one of every type of deck getting representation. This series seeks to determine if the traditional Tengu Plant meta will remain supreme or if a new champion will be crowned. Welcome to the Tournament of Tournaments Season 2. So, Gigabyte is one of the most unexplored archetypes in Tengu Plant format. And I think a lot of people do it differently, but the way that we're going to be playing it is really, really interesting. How the deck breakdown is going to work is that this is essentially a plant deck. We're doing it exactly how it's supposed to be played. We're going to be using our plant monsters like Notoria Cherries and Mystic Tomato to be able to swap with our opponent with cards like Creature Swap and take our opponent's cards to Synchro Summon with cards like Mark of the Rose. Ultimately, if we do get into a grind phase, we can summon out Giga Plant to our side of the field, combined with Super Vice, can turn us into some really cool plays with Power Tool Dragon. The deck should be able to function incredibly well. As if we get into a grind, we can always summon monsters like Tantennial Princess and Camellias, which prevents targeting, and have Cactus Bouncer, which prevents special summoning. Though I don't think that the deck will rely on that much. I just needed a level 4 plant monster that I could get access to. Overall, though, I think that this deck is really, really fun to play. And I think it'll do decently well against Ice Barriers. I mean, it's Ice Barriers, my guy. There should be a few turns for us to set up. All right, today we're bringing in the Ice Barriers. Now, Ice Barriers didn't perform all that bad in the last season, but I wanted to kind of touch them up a bit. Uh, the biggest way to do that is to kind of reduce the amount of Ice Barriers, because, like, independently, they're, like, not great. They're really good once you get set up, and, like, you got three Searchers. So I didn't feel like I needed these as much as I wanted the removal of, like, a Caius with the frogs. And obviously, this is, like, a bit more heavy-handed towards, like, a Frog Monarch deck than strictly Ice Barriers. But the thing I like about it is... Uh, that you can use Medallion to search a Tribute Summon for your enemy controller and soul exchange plays. And so, like, this basically becomes an upstart goblin that searches you either a, um, either a monster that you can use for Tribute Summoning, or you can search a card that's going to, like, kind of fill your graveyard, or, like, you know, you can search a, like, a low-level monster. So it gives you options where, like, Monarchs don't, and I think that's really cool. The, the main gimmick of this deck is you want to get these two cards in your grave, and then you want to get, like, a General Gontala set up. And so what that does is General Gontala's effect is during your end phase, target an Ice Barrier monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So once you get a General Gontala on the board, you can special summon back General Ryo, which says your opponent, if your opponent activates a monster on the field, they have to discard a card or their effect is negated. And then you can do Dai Sojo, which says... Your Ice Barrier monsters can't be destroyed by Spell or Trap cards. So you can basically protect your, your monsters from being like Dark Hold as well as removing monster effects from your opponent as an option, which is really cool. And especially in conjunction with Light and Darkness Dragon, if you get any of these guys in your grave or specifically Gontala, with Light and Darkness Dragon dies, it can summon back a Gontala from your grave, which then can summon everything else back. So it's a pretty cool chain of events if it plays out that way. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. All right, Tournament of Tournaments, Episode 2, Season 2, and we're coming in with uh, some interesting decks. Honestly, Ice Barriers being one that actually performed pretty well. I think it just barely lost to Dave Trepanier on Nordics in the last season, so I'm hoping to do it a bit justice with some of the optimizations I got. And, uh, Callie, you're taking on a new deck. Uh, we, we got the, the Gigavice. I don't think this was in Season 1, so you, you gotta show it some justice, otherwise, you know, pe people will be upset, right? <laughs> the well, one I'm fan. Just you know, <laughs> I, I, first of all, it's two of us, because I know there's another person out there, right? <laughs> but I'm just letting you know, you got really lucky, all right, mm -hmm. with the Amazonas versus Harpies. Mm -hmm. I am here to take a name and show you guys that Tangu plant? <laughs> what is that? Super Vice, my boys. Mm. This is the deck of the century. This is what everybody needs to be fearing. It is a powerful control deck, but but I'm going first, so I'm just going to let you... I'll let you experience it. All right, well, I'll pick paper. Uh, oh, 
<laughs> I'll you pick scissor. I'll pick paper. <laughs> I don't know which one's which because my my thing is messed up. So I'm just gonna pick the middle one. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll pick rock. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I don't know which one's which. I'm telling you, my whole DB is messed up. Good. Perfect. All right. So I'll go first. Oh, oh my God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is it. Oh, so. Yes. 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 The T set. Oh, right my here. God. Um, stand by main face. Mm hmm. I'm going to set a card and pass. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, Booyah. I'll change. Oh, wait, hold on. Time out. <laughs> All right, so now it's my turn. It's Brewski's time to shine. Yep. That, that, that's not what I was expecting. That. Good. Okay. All right. Looks like I'm just going to go on the aggressive here. Sure. All right. Oh. Let me, let me make sure. Come on. Why are you doing this to me? What is this hand? Okay, I will tribute my Naturia Cherries to summon Giga Plant. Oh, okay. That's fair. Now, now, bro, you got one more turn. If you don't do nothing, I'm clapping your entire deck up. Well, what about Gores? How does that feel? <laughs> uh, it actually does not hurt at all. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, the Gores approach is not a great approach. I'm just letting you know. All right. But I will go ahead and pass my turn. Fig. All right. Well, here, I got to set the attack here on this guy. 2400 big okay well now i'm gonna go ahead and normal summon swap frog and activate uh -huh. the effect yep i'm gonna go ahead and dump a treeborn frog oh you're trying to set up and we'll go ahead and bounce this back to my hand and uh yeah i'm gonna enter battle phase i'm gonna attack this attack mm -hmm. directly here for 24. i'm gonna drop gores too <laughs> that's what i was afraid of uh i should have attacked the swap frog first but it's whatever uh i'll pass all right so watch as i cook your d oh le dear lord chat oh my god I, why i should have wait did i start off without an extra card one, two, three. Uh, no, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Maybe, maybe. No, no, no. you should, you should be fine because you have six. You it's because you tribute summoned. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, now, now I actually have a conundrum here. Uh huh. I know you have the treeborn frog setup going on. Yep. I don't, I don't know exactly what are you doing with this treeborn frog setup. <laughs> so should I play this slow or should I play this hot? That's the big question. Always play hot. Always play hot? Well, <laughs> my, mm, mm, that's, I don't feel that though. Okay. I could always go bam, 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 mm, and then course. bam, bam. Oh, the bam, bams, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let, let, let's let's play this slow. I'm gonna activate the best card in the game, my boy. All right. I'm gonna activate mind control. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. I thought you had that last turn. All right. I did. All right. I just read this card wrong. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the problem. I read this card completely wrong. All right. I will use it to. Oh, I can't normal summon. Yeah, that's yeah you can't like, normal summon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Bro, if it didn't have that restriction, you'd be cooked. So you get the monster reborn. You get a synchro for eight. And. But it'll get rid of the fertilizer. Yeah, that, that's why I was like, this card. It, it had so much potential to be great, but it, it, it has its fair share of problems. If you had there Super Vice, it'd be good. It'd be really good. Bro, if, but if I had Super Vice, you'd be cooked. I'm True. not going to lie. I can't even tell you the the levels of cooked you would be right now. <laughs> so just be grateful I don't have the Super Vice. Fair. Um, gosh, golly. You know what? Again, I, th I think we'll just play it safe. I think we'll just sync. We won't sync up. You didn't see that. Well, attack over. You can't over attack because it's mind control. So you gotta sync up. You did see that. I'm sync growing. I got a little confused when you said we're not gonna sync <laughs> Now you see the Stardust Dragon Boy putting it. 
<laughs> get, get, get back here, bro. <laughs> you see the Stardust Dragon Boy putting in work. Uh, damage step? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I was like, there's no way you play Honest and Ice Barrier. Don't stop the cap. The cap is real. All right. With that being said, I am going to go ahead and uh, pass it over to you. All right. Well, I'm going to draw for turn. It will go into standby and I'll uh, revive my Treeborn Frog. Mm -hmm. And. Let's see, what's the best way to go about this? Uh, I could do some spicy plays, or I could do a really boring play. Uh, we'll go to main phase. I think I'm gonna activate Monster Reborn, bring back my Gores. <laughs> Ooh, that's crazy. And uh, we'll just swig over the Stardust. That's crazy work. I'm going to go main phase two, normal summon Swap Frog. Mm -hmm. And we'll dump a Ronin Toten. Then we'll bounce it to hand and pass. Okay, one card like gets me crazy in this game. I just need it. That is... That is the card. That's actually not exactly what I needed, but it's close. Uh oh. All right. I am. Wait, isn't it treated as a plant? I wish. I'm going to activate Mark of the Rose here. Oh, yeah, that's a scary card. I am going to banish this piece of trash. Get, 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 get out. Go. Go home. Hit the gore. And then. You have another level of tutor. <laughs> Bro, if, if you see, that's why I was telling you this deck needs more tuners. You you didn't think I was I was him when I said it, right? Like no nobody thought I was like I, you thought I was tripping. No, I was him. Um, I'm then gonna go ahead and attack with the gores. Okay. Then main phase two, I'm gonna get rid of the gores. You're not getting that back, dog. Mm, true for I'm gonna Giga plant. If, sure. If, if, if I didn't brick on Giga plants, I tell you, you'd be cooked, my brother. Okay, well, that's fine. I will draw for turn, mm -hmm. enter standby, and uh, special summon back Treeborn Frog. Mm -hmm. Now, this is kind of awkward, because, like, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to normal summon Swap Frog and activate the effect. Yep. I'm going to dump a Swap Frog. And I'm going to activate Ronin Toten, banishing this Swap Frog. Okay. You walling up. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I kind of just have to. Okay. Make a, make a big defense, and uh, that's my turn. Oh, yeah. You're, you're getting cooked now, my brother. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and draw here. Yep. I am going to second summon my Gigavice. Sure. Yep. And then I'm going to use this effect to be able to special summon the Naturia ch ch, -ch cherries <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. So now I'm going to activate a cool spell card called Super Solar Nutrient. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it allows me to tribute off the Naturia cherries to summon any plant monster from my... No, I don't want to show you my deck. It allows me to summon any plant monster. Well, not any, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you get the you get the the lone fire here. That's pretty strong. How you know I'm going for lone fire? How you know I ain't going for no top tier plays? Okay, go for a top tier play. <laughs> how, how do you know I haven't constructed my deck to win no matter what happens? Here? I see. So you're gonna go for a copy plant and make a rank six. Hey, hold on, hold on, you little mind reader. You little mind reader. I'm going to go for Lone Fire Blossom. Yeah. <laughs> and declare priority. Yeah, that's all good. And then I'm going to summon a monster that uh, not a lot of players I noticed playing. Okay. I know that your favorite card is Mind Control, so I thought I'd put a little protection. Mm, interesting. All right. Yep. So now we're going to go into... B -b -b battle and we're gonna weaken this gotcha gotcha here all right i'll detach both all right you sure you don't want to just send it to the graveyard oh i'm positive mm. this thing's ready <laughs> well 
you can go ahead and uh, you can take your turn. All right. I will draw for turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, we'll go to standby. Mm -hmm. And I think what I'm going to do here is activate enemy controller tributing treeborn to take the titanial that's a crazy card i'm gonna use titanial to tribute herself to negate and destroy it sure 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 so now treeborn comes back mm -hmm. and now i'm going to tribute the same treeborn for caius in the standby phase that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> in the main phase <laughs> and we're swinging in for a thousand all right all right that's fair that's fair i did draw like the worst hand ever drawing double giga plant is the worst thing that can happen true so let's see if i can draw a card to get me back into this game draw what the... does that get you back into this game yeah it's gonna get me back in the game too Ooh, okay oh, oh there's the super vice just a a few turns too late <laughs> just just a few turns right <laughs> All right. All right, I'll take first this time. All right, I believe in you. God damn. Okay. Um, think, Leon, think. Draw I'll for start turn. off this turn by setting a monster face down. Draw for oh, turn. Draw for draw. turn. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. I'll draw. I'll start off by setting a monster in defense. Perfect. It's not the same card. Oh, okay. And a card face down. Oh, big. That ends my turn. I'll draw. Huh. Uh, standby made. I'm just going to pass. <laughs> Bro, what is up with you? I'm going to go ahead and draw here. Sure. Oh, come on. I'm going to go ahead and flip summon Mystic Tomato. Okay. And then normal summon Mystic Tomato. Oh, we are making some pasta here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and attack into your gores again. Uh, I'll take 14. And then I'll attack again. I'll take 14 again. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> uh, it's up to you now. I'll draw for turn. We'll go standby main phase. And I yes, think I'm going to activate soul exchange targeting your mystic tomato. Bro, what is this deck? Yeah. It's, uh, it's Ice Barriers. <laughs> then my Caius will banish the other one. You'll take a thousand. And I cannot enter my battle phase, so I just have to end my turn. But that got rid of two tomatoes. That was big. Are you guys sure this is, uh, this is one of those decks? <laughs> All right. Well, you actually didn't really do anything. Okay. And I'm going to show you why. All right. Uh, first of all, I'm going to normal summon Violet Witch. Oh, my God. And I hope we're both playing Monarchs here. Because I'm going to use Creature Swap. Oh, so you can go ahead and take this card. That's pretty good. And um, I'll reap all the benefits here. <laughs> I'll go into my battle phase and use Caius to Dark Shadow Ball attack. <laughs> dark Shadow Ball attack. All right. Well. And my Violet Witch was going to go ahead and use its effect here. All right. Fair we'll enough. We'll get Lone Fire Blossom from the deck to the hand. How do you feel about that? Uh, that does not feel good. You're one step closer to getting cooked with your ice barrier down. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, ooh, that's a good draw. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. I'm going to normal summon Swap Frog. Okay. And I will activate his effect. Okay. We'll dump a Treeborn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to return him back to my hand. And I'm going to pass. <laughs> There's no way you drew Gores again. <laughs> There's no way you drew Gores again. There's just no way you drew Gores again. There's no way. Like, I just, I refuse to believe that you drew Gores again. I'm impressed at how few ice barriers I've seen. I mean, I don't run a huge engine for it, but I run enough. I haven't seen any. You, bro, you're not even playing ice barriers. <laughs> you're playing Monarch. I was tricked. I was legitimate. You, you hit me up. You messaged me. 
yo, it's going to be Ice Barriers versus Gigabyte. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, we're going to have an honorable matchup. <laughs> Bro, I have seen Smut Frog, Tree Born Frog, Gachi Gachi, and Kites in a gorse. Yeah. I'm letting, I think everybody should know that TCG Rewind is a cheater, mm -hmm. flagrantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to use the little <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> There's really, I mean, this is the only possible, because I can synchro on a power tool, but power tool doesn't do anything. I mean, I could make you punish. I I could hard punish, but that doesn't that doesn't create a game situation. It creates a situation where I could likely make game. I can also summon, tribute, summon again. No, that this is the only possible way. Okay. All right, battle phase. Yep. Yeah. I'll attack with the Kai's. Uh, sure. I'll take Bro, the twenty-four and drop a drag. Tr How strong is that thing? Three thousand. <laughs> well then, that's crazy. <laughs> that that's crazy. That card's pretty strong. It is pretty strong. It's it's incredibly strong. It'd be a shame if it were like an ice barrier card or something, you know. <laughs> oh my god. That card's kind of good too. Uh, we'll go standby phase and I'm going to special summon back Treeborn Frog. You better not draw the enemy controller again. Uh, no, I didn't draw the enemy controller, but I did draw something that's a little unique. You drew a level 8 or a level 6? Um... Yes, I did draw a level six. <laughs> so we're gonna enter. I swear. <laughs> enter battle phase. I'm going to attack the Titanial. I'm at 3,600. Oh my god, this is trash. Now I will go main phase two, and the question is. I could play it really slow, and it could be worth more. Uh, nah, I think I used Tragodia's effect, and I pitched this Vanity's Fiend to steal the ca the Gaius. <laughs> Vanity's Fiend. That's a that's a crazy Ice Barrier card you played right there. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, it's your turn. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Whatever, dog. Um. Yeah, I'll set a monster in defensive. In this. Oh my god. Are we in it? Standby main phase. Yeah. Bro, I, uh, I don't know what to say about this ice barrier situation. Um, I'm gonna. I don't think I even want a normal summon. I think I actually just want to enter battle phase, attack. Mm -hmm. I'll use cherries if I mm, That's fair. Was there anything? Oh! I guess that was the move, but that wouldn't have done anything. Only one? Only one. Oh, well, I'll kill that one. I'll pass back to you. All right. Draw. Bro, what the fuck? I, I mean, I guess that is a play. Okay. I'll normal summon the Turio Cherries. Oh, okay. And then I'll activate Super Solar Nutrient, tributing off my cherries. Interesting. Okay. There has to be something else I can do here. You can get a level four or lower plant type monster from your deck. I mean. Oh my God. Yep. I'll summon out Lord Poison. Oh, okay. 
Uh, I'll go into battle phase and I'll attack into your Kaios. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Uh, then use Lord Poison's effect. Yeah. Um, what if I check my deck real quick? Wait, so this says special summon from in your graveyard? Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let me just make sure I got something. Yeah. Um... I don't have it. Okay. Is that the only way? Yeah. Get the tit summon out titanium. Titanial and out the Caius. Yeah. Okay, so I'll take four. Um, and that's all I got. All right, big money, no worries. I want to see an ice barrier. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm never gonna see an ice barrier. Um. I'm going to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's at 42. Let's go ahead and enter battle phase and donk this titanial. Go to main phase two, and I'm going to activate Foolish Burial. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to dump General Ryo of the Ice Barrier. Oh, crazy. An Ice Barrier. <laughs> I didn't sign them all out. <laughs> uh, and then I think I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, I'll pass. Okay, I need one card. Come on, man. Give me this card. Can you out the Dragodia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. Oh I my. Have to double Giga Plan again. No way! What? You only run two, right? Yes. Oh my god. If I want a third, I had full combo. So, it is what it is. Yeah, I had I had the hand traps. I just never used any of them. That's crazy. That's wild. And oh he, well. Damn, Gigavice, man, taking the L to Ice Barrier. <laughs> uh, first of all, I didn't lose to a single one Ice Barrier card. Wait, wait, I did play one there, there, in the graveyard. No, 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 no. I, I didn't lose to a single Ice Barrier card. I lost to a combination of me drawing double Gigaplant. <laughs> and you playing Soul Exchange, Caius to Shadow Monarch? Yeah. Like I, I lost to Monarchs. Uh huh. That that's really what happened. <laughs> so it is what it is. Yeah. It happens. Uh Monarchs are pretty good uh by comparison to basic ice barriers, but I do have an ice barrier engine in here, you know. The goal is yeah. to uh -huh. to stack the grave with them. Unfortunately, I just didn't really... See, this is the guy you play around. You want the General Gontala. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I never saw my uh, Ice Barrier Searcher card. Oh, crazy. And, and that you would have got... You know what my deck does? <laughs> it actually summons Gigaplant. <laughs> and it's built on plants. <laughs> I didn't see the dog... I didn't see any of the Ice Barrier. Oh, no, no, no. You don't play the... Okay. None of that. I do play but, strategist. Yeah, he's, he's not playing an Ice... Ch chat, chat, down below in the comment section. <laughs> Let me know. Let him know. We were robbed, okay? Look, he there, there's strategist. There's lied. Dice Sojo. <laughs> we were lied to. We were lied to, and we were cheated. First of all, DB cheated us by giving us double Gigaplant. Two games Secondly, in a row. Yeah, that was... That he, was he scum. cheated. Straight up just cheated. But he didn't even play Ice Barriers. I didn't play against Ice Barriers, guys. <laughs> Still undefeated against Ice Barriers because I've never seen it. <laughs> he never wanted to catch the fair one. He ought to play cards like Tragodia. I was trying to be honorable. I took out tour guides. I was like, nah, that's not true to the plan deck. Him on the other side, I can side out Ice Barriers. <laughs> right? So you tell him if I would have just played one Giga Plant, one Super Vice, I could have played Tangu Plant. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, but the engine Jeez. is bigger than He's that. Just, the engine is still there. I still have the lone player to the Gigaplant. I yeah. still have the Super Vice, and I'll play a power tool. I still got the engine. It's true. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Well, you know what? We can add more ice barriers for the next episode they're in. I'm clapping. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> but, you know, ice barriers, they did well last season. And this is, this is the first showing of Gigabyte. You know, maybe it just needs to go back to the lab for the next season Stop. in, like, Stop. two years from now. <laughs> it didn't do well. It Monarchs did well. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure everybody in the comment section is going to stand on that. No, 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 no. They know I'm definitely playing Ice Barriers. I did sign out an Ice Barrier card. And ice I, I, I cited out a couple Ice Barrier cards for Vanity's Fiend and Max C. Because those seem pretty Crazy. good against you. Um, but, you know, next episode we won't sign out so many, I guess. Because they're really good. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next time, just play the deck that you advertise, please. I'll be okay with that. Like, if you're going to play Ice Bear, please play Ice Bear. You know? I don't want to make everything Tengu Plant. You know, I didn't want to go that route. But if you could, if you could, we could stay on the same wavelength. All right, all right. We'll do more Ice Bears next time. <laughs>so guys that's going to wrap it up for this week's episode of tournament of tournaments as a reminder we'll be releasing new episodes of this series every single friday so make sure you guys are subscribed not only to me but also to cali effect to help support the series and stay up to date on when we release new episodes but we'll just give a quick shout out to my patrons so shout out to eric gagnon grant johnson beast size slap god my dude photo shooty brian ford and sven albrand thank you guys so much for the support other than that thank you so much for watching make sure you guys like comment subscribe and have a great time doing today